My name is Wahaj and over the past five years, I've actually been in the remote high ticket sales space. And now I've been able to sell over $35 million in high ticket. I've sold 6 million myself and then I've started to build sales teams. And this video, I'm going to break down exactly how much I made my first year in high ticket sales with just one year of prior sales experience. So the first thing to know is how the heck do you get in this space? Do you have to have certification? Do you have to be qualified? Technically, no, you can start brand new from scratch like I did. You don't need any certification. You don't need to go to university. You don't need to go to college. You don't need to have a piece of paper. But ultimately, most companies now are looking for people with sales experience. Now, the way that you can get a job is you can apply online. You can literally just hit up people on Instagram, someone that you know that is in the high tech space already selling. Then it's always better to get introduced by someone through networking. Once you do get a job, then this is what the job role looks like. The first most important thing is how the heck do you get paid uh, you're actually going to be a contractor you're never going to be an employee you're never going to get a salary everything will be a hundred percent commission as if you're like a real estate agent you only get money once you close deals now typical commissions in the marketplace is around 10 percent of every deal you close sometimes it can be lower sometimes it can be higher but averages around is 10 percent if you wanted to make ten thousand dollars a month you would essentially have to sell a hundred thousand dollars in profit product and you would have to collect all of that cash. So if you sold a hundred thousand dollars and you collected a hundred thousand dollars, you would get 10% of that. That would be ten thousand dollars into your pocket. Now if you're selling a five thousand dollar product, you have to make 20 sales that pay you up front. Then you're getting the 10% on whatever you're collecting. So that means if you wanted to make over six figures in a year, right? A hundred K in a year, that's approximately 8.5 K. So you have to collect at least 85 K in cash for the company. Now you become a rep. Now you know the commissions. What does your day-to-day -day actually look like? Well, it's very simple. You're a remote sales rep. You can work from home wherever you want. You have no boss that's overlooking you. So you're actually just like a real estate agent. You're in control of your schedule and your performance and exactly what you do. If you're getting inbound leads, you have a set calendar that you make available whenever you are available. Obviously, based on your availability, companies will either choose to hire you or not. But most times, if you're full time they have flexibility and you'll be able to do what you want if i want to go to the gym i can go to the gym if i want to you know go to an appointment i can book that off you're ultimately controlling your calendar most of the time if your company is actually providing you leads which majority of companies do that means you're taking all the traffic they're getting from their marketing efforts from their content creation from running their ads and they're putting them through the marketing system to then land onto your lap into your calendar and then you'll start getting calls booked on your calendar anywhere from 30 minute bookings to 45 an hour as, as long as two hour bookings that I've seen making sure that the lead is showing up and then when they do show up you're trying to sell them <laughs> so it's very simple you can be at a laptop you can be on your phone you can be on your desk you can be at a park you can be at a beach it doesn't matter where you are but obviously where you are will affect your performance so you want to be in a place where you're actually the highest performer so whatever works for you when you can actually see the results so that's what the day-to-day -day is not only are you getting calls but you have to communicate with your leads all day long sometimes you'll get calls like booked appointments at a certain time when that notification pops up a good rep is always responding to leads as soon as they can whenever the right time to do it I remember when I was a full-time rep I was working from morning till midnight like I'm texting leads because leads are coming in non-stop and I want to make sure that the people that are coming onto my calendar they're actually ready for calls for their call with me so that I can actually sell them and if they're not ready ultimately I can't sell them and I can't make money by the way if you like this video so far and I'm giving you value about what remote sales is and you want more of it just hit the subscribe button and comment down below I'll keep it going although it does come with that flexible lifestyle working wherever and whenever you choose to when you do work it does take up a lot of your time my first full year of high tech remote sales actually took home hundred and fourteen thousand dollars and this was when I was 22 years old, which meant that actually made the company $1.14 million. And I was just a young kid that just stumbled upon this and it was life changing for me. And what's funny is when I started making that money, I was just like, I was shocked at what was possible with just a phone, the ability for me to speak and influence some leads landing on my calendar. That was eye opening thing for me, which led me to do more of it. And then the next year I did like 150K, 
then the next year I did like 200 something K and then the next year uh, it went as high as like half a million dollars. The earning potential is really good only if you are constantly challenging and investing in yourself because when I first first started like my first few months I was really really bad. I didn't understand anything even though I had sales experience I was just really bad and so I actually had to invest in a mentor. I had to invest in someone that would show me exactly what I'm doing wrong teach me exactly what I should be doing and that's what I realized like what is sales it's an energy transference and you can only give what you have so the best person you become the better you can help the people on the other line in my first year like I would have great months and then I would have bad months and the times that I had bad months it was because whenever I started making money on average I'm doing ten thousand dollars a month I went from doing like three four thousand dollars in my previous job to ten thousand dollars so almost three x in my income and so whenever that happened I started getting so complacent I would stop doing all my good habits I would stop learning I would stop reading I would stop improving myself because I was making good money I was relaxing I was traveling I was doing all these fun things I was going out whenever I stopped focusing on the thing that got me to that point I would see a dip and then when I would see a dip I would question what I'm doing I would be like am I bad am I doing this wrong am I doing that wrong and then it would take me a few weeks to come out of that rut because then I would build those habits up again and then those habits would then result in me showing up to the calls much better then it would be this cycle where every couple months I would dip down because I'm not top of my game and then come back up and then my performance and my income got impacted because of all these ups and downs when I joined this team I was the only sales rep so my growth was fairly slow and I didn't get to like learn off other people but if you're joining a team that has other people other reps that are doing better than you then the best thing that you can do is just replicate what's already working you'll learn much faster when you can just dive in learn from the person who's already figured everything out and the other part is the company that you work for and the leaders of that company very quickly you realize are these people someone I would want to follow and if you want a long future if you want to learn and grow in this industry you have to pick your leaders you have to make sure that you have the same values as them you would want to learn from them over the long period of time and you want to attach yourself with the best leaders because that's ultimately going to be what dictates your growth in this industry because if you're with someone who just you know if you start performing bad they don't give you any support or they don't help you or they don't coach you or train you up and you're out the door then you know you're gonna have to go through a lot of trials and tribulations yourself to figure that part out which is okay but if you were able to go into a company that has good leadership then the scale the speed of which you can grow and the speed of which of what your income potential can be is just going to be much much better because great leaders will take you all the way if you show up for yourself and them uh, and then they do the rest of the hard heavy lifting because my experience was like my first year again I was the first rep there and then afterwards the team grew very fast because we had really good leadership and we got that offer doing like 1.5 2.2 million dollars a month where I got to see all of that happen I got to learn from all that I got to grow into different positions and make even more money in the future now one final thing I'll add if you figure this out and you truly commit and you get yourself to the level where you have a strong skill set what can happen is you can build your finances right you can learn this industry that is making a lot of people very wealthy and then it can put yourself in a position for more power when you have more money and you have more freedom and flexibility because of the lifestyle the job creates now you have more power to take risk and when you can take more risk that's when you can receive more opportunity you know that's how you get really rich <laughs> it's a great stepping stone it's a great skill set to learn once you learn this skill set it'll help you in any other area of your life life changes fast when you figure it out so yeah that was my first year in high ticket remote sales and i would recommend it to anyone who can commit their full attention their full effort i don't recommend it for someone that's looking for easy money because if you're weak if you want easy money you want things given to you and you're not going to put in the time to show up for yourself because no one no one else is going to hold you accountable right you're a contractor you make your own schedule you eat what you kill and if you're not a killer ready to put in that effort then this industry will chew you and throw you out and spit you out and you're gonna go back to your job sad that you couldn't make it and I've seen it happen to people time and time again they want to clock in from nine to five and they want to check out and for those people it's not the right fit